guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're one of my bagel babes. I'm Kelsey, the blogger behind Blondes and Bagels. I saw all of the news about Kim Kardashian launching a bridal makeup collection and I was intrigued because one, I've never tried KKW Beauty before and two, I'm engaged. So for me, I just wanted to know like, is this actually a bridal collection that I would use, I would wear? What's the quality of KKW Beauty like? I wanted to create this fun little look to kind of test it out. And if you want to see how to get this look and hear my thoughts on the collection, keep on watching. This is real. my phone to look at Kim's wedding look. And here's the deal. I I don't look like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> um, I don't look anything like Kim. I am very pale and blonde. So honestly, like me trying to recreate this look, I'm not gonna look like Kim Kardashian. So I think really what I'm gonna do instead of trying to do like a Kim look is I'm gonna do just what I think would be a nice bridal look, trying out these products. That way you can see how they perform. It'll be kind of like a fun little thing in terms of just giving you an idea if you are engaged or have your engagement party or a bridal shower or maybe you're doing your own wedding makeup. I can kind of give you an idea of something that I would do and then we'll see how these products do because I have i don't think I've tried anything from KKW Beauty before. No, I haven't. I've tried nothing from KKW Beauty before. I do have like a couple Kylie things but they're completely separate obviously. So yeah, let's get into it. Um, I'm gonna start with the eyeshadow palette. Here is what the palette looks like. The packaging on this stuff you guys is like, Honestly, it's it's stunning. Um, she used her wedding photos and all of the packaging. It looks completely gorgeous, uh, but that's just the box. I would say I'm less than impressed with how the actual palette is. It is just like a cardboard, oop, the little plastic thing fell out. It's just a cardboard palette like this, six colors. Uh, packaging of this is just like pretty simple and neutral. In terms of design, I think it's beautiful, but in terms of like the actual material, I don't know, I, I prefer, for the cost of it, it was not cheap, right? And I just think that for the cost, I probably should have gotten like a metal palette or something a little bit more sturdy than that, but I digress. So we have six colors here. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna be able to name these right. I'm not sure. I think this one is called Please Marry Me with like three E's. Etched in stone. That can't be right. Is that? Maybe. Mrs. West, Just Married, May 24th, Field of Dreams. I really don't know. It's the way that they labeled this isn't very clear. So is it like what's directly on the other side of this? Or is it like this is really the opposite side on the, do you know what I mean? Cause like this is my left. So then is it that one? Again, I think it's just like a packaging thing. I don't, I'm not super impressed. I don't personally see any good starting blender shades here for someone that's as fair as me. I think that this would be absolutely an amazing like crease color for um, somebody that is deeper skin tone than I am, but I am a pale face. I'm about as light as they come. So I'm actually gonna pull out a bronzer. I'm just gonna use like the Too Faced Natural Lust bronzer. It looks like this. I'm gonna take a fluffy crease brush. I love the mirror on this too. It's like really easy to use. So I'm gonna take a MAC 224 brush and actually just buff that into the crease just to get a little bit of crease definition and get like a good blending shade going. Because yeah, whatever that color is over there is too dark for me. What kind of look do I wanna do? I'm gonna start with this pink color in the lower corner. Again, I don't know if it's Field of Dreams or Just Married. Based on how they've got this laid out, not super clear to me. This is just a Morphe brush. The color payoff here is pretty good and it's blending pretty nicely. Not too much fallout yet. I really like that color. I think if you have green eyes like me, it'll really bring out your eyes. Okay, next I'm gonna take this middle brown shade right here. Again, I'm very fair, so there's so few circumstances I would ever go that deep. It would just make me look like I have a black eye. So now I'm taking a MAC 217 and just getting some of this color to place it right on the very outer corner. Maybe I'm wrong. The color payoff on this is not, not that opaque. Maybe I could use that deeper color. We shall find out. There are people like right under the window outside of our apartment, just chatting it up, screaming. Okay, I'm going back in with my Mac 224 just to blend out all the edges here. Okay, I feel good about the outer colors. Let's get some Fix Plus up in this B. A little baby Fix Plus. And because I wanna use this color right here, it's sort of got this color right here. It's got a little bit of a shine to it, not much. Again, I don't know if this is Please Marry Me or Mrs. West. I kinda think it's Mrs. West. Who's to say, honestly? Who is to say? I'm gonna use 
use. This is just a uh, Illuminate Cosmetics brush. They actually just launched new ones. These ones with the green handles are the original Illuminate Cosmetic brushes, but they just launched a whole bunch of ones that have pink handles. I'm obsessed. I'm a huge Ashley Tisdale fan, but honestly, with or without being a fan of her, those brushes are really good at a really good price. I think the whole set is like 20 bucks or something like that. This one has a lot of, had a lot of uh, fallout, like kickback to it. Really powdery. Okay, I'm just patting it on. Because it's so powdery, I'm gonna pat it instead of swipe it. It's not really that, it's not good by itself. Without any like water fix plus, I don't think that this has a very good like shine payoff to it. Needs a little help, my friends. That's why the Lord invented fix plus. Hmm. Even that didn't really help quite as much as I was hoping it would. In fact, it made it kind of chunky. Yeah, it turned it kind of chunky. I know that's obviously not how the shadow is meant to be applied, so I can't really get upset that it doesn't perform well wet when it's not meant to do that. It's not advertised that way, so, but, and it stings a little. Yeah. Well, that was my bad for trying to use it wet. Whoopsies. I'm gonna take a little pencil brush just like this. This is a MAC 219, and I'm gonna go into whatever the hell this light color is. Again, could be Please Marry Me or Mrs. West. I'm just gonna do a little dot of that in the corner here. Okay, let me do some eyeliner and mascara really quick. That's all I wanna do for shadow. I actually think it's kind of just a nice, simple, sweet bridal look, and I'll make you bet when I come back in two seconds with liner and mascara, you will like it too. Okay, we're back. Um, so I added some eyeliner. I used two different things, actually. I used some of these new Rimmel London eyeliners. I'm not sure what they're called, but they launched, I think like, whole new collection. I think it's called Scandalize. Um, so I used a couple of these to kind of get into the little nooks and crannies. And then I used my normal Dior mascara just to add a little touch to the lashes. Okay, so the Mrs. West palette is currently sold out, but it was $30. I think for 30 bucks for six eyeshadows, it's a pretty good deal. Um, I like the consistency of them. They sort of remind me of like MAC shadows. They're a little bit stiffer um, in general to use, not quite as like soft as maybe like a Too Faced shadow. I really like it. I think they they blend really nicely. I also think the color selection is really versatile because obviously, like I said, I'm pretty fair, but I think, I really honestly think these colors could be used across the board and I think she took that into consideration when creating it. So yeah, this is just a little eye look that I would do. I do recommend the palette. If she ever does restock it, I would recommend that you pick it up. I think that's a good one. Uh, let's take a look at the other two items left. I didn't buy the whole collection. She had, what else does she have in here? She has a lip gloss. She's got a highlighter. Uh, all of this shit is sold out. I'm so sorry I'm doing this so late, you guys. You can still buy the lipstick. But anyway, let's start with the blush. So I picked up the blush, it's called Flower Wall. This is what the blush looks like, just a good universal pink shade. And we will take a little, take a little brush into that situation. It's a pretty, it's just a pretty little pink color. I think it's perfect for a bridal collection, actually. And I like the texture of it. I'm just kind of dabbing it on with a brush. I think it goes well with the eyeshadow palette, honestly. Sometimes I go a little overboard with the blush. I like to look like a clown. I'm just gonna take my Real Technique sponge and actually just kind of blend out the edges there. That way it looks a little bit more seamless. If you actually are doing this look for your wedding day, I kind of recommend putting a little bit more on just so the camera picks it up and doesn't get washed out by the flash. I like that color. I would say like, it's cute, nothing super special. You probably could recreate it with something else. I do like the formula and the texture. So again, like even if you're just thinking about buying KKW Beauty in general, I do like the formula of the blushes. But if you're looking for something similar, I mean, I kind of think that like NARS Orgasm or our super orgasm would be a pretty close match just in case you want to try that out and get a similar color i'm going to take some of the glossier halo scope just to if i'm going to wear this look i might as well really do it and get some get some glow out of it so i can wear it out of the house Okay, let's take a look at the lipstick. Again, I just think the packaging on these is so good. Like beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This lipstick color is called Love and you can still buy this. It's $18. This is still in stock. It just looks like a universal nude. I'm just gonna dab it on. Mm. I have really chapped lips, so it's always hard to tell, but you can see that this is really sitting inside of all the cracks here. I mean, I have crusty ass lips, so it's not the lipstick's fault. I would say this is like a satin. It's not quite matte but it's not quite like a gloss or shiny. So that's the lipstick on someone as pale faced as myself. But anyway, let me just pull my hair down. Anyway, those are all of the products. This is the finished look. It's just a really fresh look. Honestly, I would wear this on my wedding day. Maybe I will wear it on my wedding day. <laughs>
it's a really just fresh look overall. And I do think that, honestly, I'm pleasantly surprised by the performance of all of these products. I think they're reasonably priced. They're not crazy overpriced. If she was charging like Dior prices for all of this, I don't know that I would recommend it. Again, a lot of this collection is sold out. I'm kind of bummed at myself that between shipping and everything, I just didn't get it in time. I'm not on their PR list. And it took like a week and a half to arrive in the mail after purchasing. So just by the time I got it and then sat down to film this, unfortunately everything really is sold out. But that being said, I think there is a broader thing to talk about in this video, which is just the quality of Kim's makeup line. And I'm really surprised by it, pleasantly surprised by it. I like these products. I'm not planning to try and return anything. I think that they are well done and like really high quality. They blend easily. I didn't get any fallout from the shadow. To me, it's like, it's honestly comparable quality to a MAC, a Too Faced, any of these other brands that I really enjoy using. And from a price perspective, it's not that far off. So yeah, I would give KKW Beauty a try again. If she ever does restock, this collection, I would highly recommend it. I think it's beautiful for a bride and just any general spring, summer, fresh event makeup. So that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so I know to do more videos just like this one. And I really hope that you join my Bagel Babe family and subscribe to my channel. And in the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.